I love the rain. Pretty much rains every day. This is Arlo. He lives in the Pacific Northwest, so that pretty much makes him an expert on the rain. The raindrop, it's heavier than the wind, so it goes right through the wind like a speeding little rocket. And then it hits the ground and it makes the plants bigger. It's like when the rain hits the earth, it makes the earth stronger. Arlo and his little sister Hattie set out to chase the rain. Puddles are easy to find on a day like today, but not all of them are clean enough to play in. I want the earth, animals, and us to have clean water. Clean water isn't just something Arlo wants. Kids all around Washington value healthy watersheds. I love Fujitown because it has a good sunset, for one, and two, it's really cool animals. Puget Sound is a special place, but as these students learn more about our waters, they're discovering a hitch in the system, stormwater. Stormwater is when the rain falls on our streets and picks up whatever we've left behind carrying it downhill to our lakes and streams. Stormwater is kind of a problem. It picks up a lot of nasty chemicals on the street. In most places, it just gets dumped right into the ocean. That's really bad. It can pick up pesticides. It can pick up trash, oil. Do you know what? Some fish have been killed by oil. It blocks the gills. It chokes the fish and it makes them die. Hattie, do you want to test this puddle? She's testing for some garbage. Science is when you have stuff that you don't know of and you have to examine. As Arlo ponders pollution in his puddles, he's also wondering where this pollution ends up. Where does the pipe end? So this is where they pipe in. And then it goes through the river, and then it flows along, and then goes over in Puget Sound. Arlo is a scientist himself, and nothing can hold back a curious mind. He teams up with a few more scientists to figure out how to keep pollution out of Puget Sound. Our team of curious minds will test a few hypotheses. What do we do with the hypothesis? Uh, we test it to see if it's right. Exactly. So, the First, hypothesis... they test to see if a metal filter can clean up some dirty stormwater. Here's our stormwater. Looks like they've come up a bit short. Looks like a, a bit. bit. Yeah? But there's still some dirt because the dirt was small enough to slip through the holes. But most of this was caught. Hey Arlo, what got filtered out of that stormwater? Uh, cigarette, cigarettes, leaf stems, leaf stems, straw. And did it make the water clean enough? No, not really. Water Doesn't even enough. look like Sharky's happy in it. These young scientists are eager to test their second hypothesis to see if dirt can make dirty water clean. It seems like the last thing that would be a good cleaner upper. Right? Dirt's yeah. what makes things dirty. You know it would just make some things are dirty. It would make the water very clean. It's going, it's going. It's cleaner, it's cleaner. It's actually a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. I bet Sharky's very happy. He's going to be very happy. Did the dirt clean the water? A lot. It's a filter. It's a natural filter. They figure out while the problem of stormwater exists everywhere, the solution may also. Do you think there's a filter that's everywhere too? Nature. This would be like the world's smallest rain garden. Yeah. But it's still but working it's the same on idea. really well. Let's hear what our other young scientists know about rain gardens. We're at a rain garden and what this does is it takes all of that storm water and it filters it with plants and mulch 
so that we can have clean water going into our Puget Sound. So first there's like four or three layers of like dirt and mulch. The water flows through it and then all the junk and trash stops there. Dirt, plants, they're actually doing a better job of cleaning up that water than any machine we could invent today. The only machine that can make water this clean is, plants. is called plants. We've definitely learned a lot today. See you next time, Arlo. Rain from the clouds, drip, drip, drip. Rain from the clouds, drip, drip.